Praise be Jesus Christ. I just finished rereading my favorite book on fasting called To Love Fasting, written by Adalbert de Vogue. As a young Benedictine monk, Adalbert joined the Benedictines and immediately got into the monastery routine of having breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then he read St. Benedict's rule that they were supposed to be following, and he said, hey, in the rule it says one meal a day. We're eating three meals a day, what's up with that? And they told him, well, you know, we have busy lives, we do a lot of work, and besides back then in the early days, people were a lot more vigorous. And he's like, okay. But as time went on, he began to have his doubts. And so eventually, he uh, graduated, I guess you could say, to living uh, in a hermitage on the monastic grounds. And he began to exper experiment with the one meal a day fast, uh, what they call the regular fast. In the book, he explains how in early monasticism, this was standard, like all the monks only ate one meal a day. That was standard, the regular fast. And he goes in the book how over time, little by little, they moved away from the standard regular fast. Um, now what's fascinating, so he, he, in his book, he shares how he now, for many years, has been eating only one meal a day at 6.30 p.m. But not only that, he doesn't drink at all during the day. No water. He has enough water during his evening meal time to get him through till the next evening. Now what's what's fascinating about the book, there's a lot of fascinating things, but he explains, and I'll just, I'll just read it to you in his own words. He says, I have good health, but not much physical vigor or moral courage. Yet I easily arrived by small stages at practicing and surpassing the whole program of the rule. He goes even beyond what St. Benedict pr prescribes. Knowing my limits and that I am in no sense a tough guy, I am ready to assure my contemporaries that their strength as modern men is abundantly sufficient to apply the prescriptions of St. Benedict. And so, remember, he's a Benedictine. Benedictines are very agrarian. They love growing things. They know how things grow and develop very slowly, gradually, little by little. So rather than just jump into one meal a day, he took years and just gradually changed his eating habits to the point where um, he was eating one meal a day. He goes on to say, wrongly or rightly, I set myself to fasting so gently and gradually that I do not remember ever having made a violent effort. Again, that's, that's totally Benedictine. In the course of the years, the regular fast has entered into my life almost imperceptibly, becoming a happy and beloved habit without my having to suffer from it. Again, totally Benedictine, developing habits over time almost imperceptibly. I envisage it for myself as a happy way of life to which one can approach in small steps and which fashions a man little by little. There is no need to strain towards it or think much about it. When one has introduced it in one's life, it is enough to let it act. So brothers and sisters, we're all called to be monks at one level inside. We're all called to be monks inside. And so let the wisdom of St. Benedict and the experience of this holy monk inspire us to grow in virtue little by little. Viva Cristo Rey.